All right, let us continue. Last time I left off, I was at the bake sale. Let's see. Nothing new to equip. What? I have a dog level? What is this? Well, I have dog. Apparently this is a thing. I also have the top cake. And I did not need the save point here. Let's go back to the forest and give Top Chef his cake back. If I can. I'm not sure exactly where I ran into him. I think it was before we met up with, uh, Susie. So let's go back and, uh, see if we can find him. Oh, there's still enemies here. Rudin and Hathi block the way. pacify them. So we'll have to convince them instead. I told Rudin to quit fighting. It was utterly swayed. And Ralsei spares him. Do the same thing again. He told Hathi his teeth look like knives. It began to think about this. And then we spare Hathi. The remains of the cake are still smoldering. Margariba, that cake, it is seething with the power. It's my cake, isn't it? Did you repair it? Will you return it? Of course I will. Edamame, my old cake, I'm so happy I could spin. You're already spinning. My friend, share my riches. I have many worse cakes I do not want. If you're not carrying a cake, come here and I'll give you one, forever. Trade the top cake for the spin cake. Now I'm going to spin, continue to spin and cry, spin and cry. Mamma mia, but how are you enjoying my rejected pastries? Okay, so we've got an unlimited source of cake now. A pastry in the shape of a top. 80 health to the team. Wow, that's pretty good. Still smoldering. You know, this again? Okay. I suppose this is just so you can continue to get money if you ever run out. So, same routine as before. Convince and then spare. And then attempt to dodge Hathi's attack. Oh! Ah, it faked me out that time. Old Hathi is teeth look like now as it began to think about this. I'll say spare that. Alright. Also, I'm still very fond of this music. This is Field of Hopes and Dreams, right?
Whoa, wait a minute. Even if you're my enemy, I've got to warn you. Uh, yeah. We've already heard this. Ah, that it just reverts back to its old dialogue if, uh, Susie's not with you. Anything else decent? I can buy another Amber card. And I can buy a burger. And there's nothing new to talk about, so we will move on. Back to the bake sale. Let's see, how long have I played? What's my playtime at? Let's see. 173 hours? No, that can't be right. That must be minutes. So, almost three hours now. Happy offers a hearts donut. The proceeds go to Happy's health. Costs 40 gold. Sure. I'll buy another one. And I'll buy another one of these. Why not? Why not have a few extras? Oh, I thought I might be able to examine the stand there. Okay, I don't think I've been past this point yet, so we're heading into uncharted territory. There's a few blockners here. No, oh, two of them. Oh, blocksers. That's what they're called. Okay. Well, let's get rearranging. Boxer is pleased with his new self. Show you my training. Yeah. Oh, well, this is rough. Boxer is thinking about training wheels. We can spare this one. And have Ralph say... Or we can have Chris uh, do the... Rearranging while Ralsei spares the other one. Oh, you mix me up all nice. A box of radiates with the spirit of joy, and then we'll spare it. 89 dollars. Oh, what are you? You look like a wiggler. A caterpillar of some kind. Before the king came along, I used to eat the leaves from this tree. I don't know, I still do that. Such as the way of the worm. Hmm, can I get a leaf? No? Nothing I can do here, I guess. Oh. An invisible path. Interesting. I discovered that by complete accident. Open the treasure chest. Inside was 40 dark dollars. Huh. A little underwhelming. I suppose it wasn't that well hidden. Maybe there's something else hiding around here. Let's check the boundaries. Looks like we haven't found anything. So we move on. Okay, not sure what these are. They look like ballet dancers. But what I need to do seems fairly obvious. Just stay in formation. No problem there. Let's go this way first.
treasure. You opened the treasure chest. Inside was Revive Mint. Ah, uh, one of the mints that cures all harm, I'm assuming. Also, I saw a little sparkle over there. Not sure what it meant. It might have just been part of the... Yeah, it's just part of the background sparkles to show that I'm in overworld combat. That makes some amount of sense. I see that chest. But I don't think I can get it from this side. Oh, wow. Woe is me. Rose and rose and... Oh, rose and rose. If only a hero would help. Lancer? Is everything all right? Oh, I'm not Lancer. I'm just a sweet little boy. Why does a sweet little boy have a mustache? As a disguise. <laughs> so what kind of help do you need? See, I have this evil plan that I need to make. And why does a sweet boy need an evil plan? To impress his cool friend Susie. Hmm. Chris, if it's for friendship. Well then, we're glad they help. What shall we do? It's all on the paper, you delicious little apple. <laughs> Just fill it in with the most evil thing you can imagine. Heh <laughs> heh let the clown-generated content begin. Made a machine to thrash your own... What? Create a machine to thrash your own ass. Okay. Uh... An enchanting gun with an air of mysticism. A tomboyish blade reserved for upscale events. It's burning with desire. Desire to make you blush. Ugh. Garbage. You're going to lose points. Okay, should I just make something terrible? Cool and guns. This one has cool and guns. This one gives elegant and lively. And this one gives cute and hot. I can't tell what this is, though. Streamlined chassis for an elegant thrashing. A fast chassis for a tomboyish thrashing. Chassis for guns lovers. The cannon is highly kissable. Ugh. Just looking at this is making you lose points. I'm tempted to go with the duck. Well, let's try to make something balanced. Sporty shoes for the athletic thrashing machine in your life. Attractive wheels leading the way. Weaponized treads for raising sophisticated dinner parties. Duck, you're going to lose points. Well, this one's balanced. I kind of just want to make the duck, though. I suppose I can play through it again. Let's go with this. This is your machine, is that okay? Wow, looks nasty. Are you sure you aren't evil? Uh, no, I suppose we just have a knack for it. <laughs> I tricked you, idiots. Never do something someone else can do for you. <laughs> it's even kinda high class looking. Anyway, great job, Lancer. They were sitting ducks. Yeah, yes, and it's all thanks to our enemies. Thank you very much. Thrash you later. Okay. <laughs> it's always... It's a nice... It's nice Susie finally found a place she fits in. And she's getting along with Lancer, too. Well, that happened. I want to go back and see about this treasure chest that I wasn't able to get before. But I don't think I can reach it from this side. 
unless there's another hidden path I missed. It's not looking like it. I probably need to reach this from the other side somehow. What is this? Um, okay. I'm being attacked by a bird star thing. Ow. Well, I got hit. I fail. Oh, I rang the bell and it, it fell off its wings. That was strange. Revolve around the center and look carefully. The darker it gets, the more you can see. Okay. I'm still looking for a way to get back to that chest I couldn't reach. Oh, it said revolve around the center. Oh, it's getting darker. Mm, I need to try and get behind it, I think. Well, I can see the thing. Hmm. So hard to see, there was a switch in the tree. Doesn't seem to be anything else interesting in the tree. Okay. And still no path. This is going to take a lot of backtracking, isn't it? Oh, look at this. Well, ain't you the high Tom Pity? Somehow, Prince Lancer made real friends with a Lightner. Somebody should tell the king immediately. But it's definitely not going to be me. Whoever breaks the news is going to get wrecked. Look at these two just living in the lap of luxury. Urgh, why does the king make us take care of his son? He's not a bad kid, but he's so weird and it's so obligatory. It's no wonder nobody really likes him. Lightners, this girl's with you, right? She's forcing me to fan her. Please get her under control. Nah, they're my enemies, actually. We split up because I was too evil for them. Huh? Help, help me. I don't want to fan forever. Sorry, but you are a dedicated fanboy now. Hmm. So, uh, ready to be a good guy again, Susie? Nah, gotta say, being a bad guy is pretty sweet. Not only is it way more fun than being good, but my teammate's proud of what I do. Earlier, Susie ate a pine cone off the floor. It gave her a terrible stomach ache. It was very brave and cool. See? Finally, some respect. Hey, move it, Captain Toothpaste. You're blocking my reverse tan. The shadow's flares are making us pale as a horse. Okay. How's the thrash machine design going? The what machine? The machine? We had a whole sequence about it? Oh, that, yeah, we'll make it at the last minute. You two should really start working on it earlier. What's with the lecture? I didn't come here for a second, Dad. <laughs> yeah, you tell him. Being a bad guy sure is relaxing. Chris, if you're jealous, you can be a bad guy too. Chris isn't jealous of your evil doing lifestyle. But um, if you are, I, I can find a nice leaf and fan you. Is there anything else? Is there anything more to say to us? Hey, movie get Yeah, we've already heard this. <laughs> He has no clue what's going on. Alright, let's get out of here. By the way, beware of yourselves in the forest maze. You'll probably get completely lost. Without someone who knows the way through, that is. 
Yeah, I know the forest like the back of my head. That's fine. Uh, okay. How many of you are there? You know what? I feel like we're supposed to go the opposite direction of what he shows us. Oh, it's another dust bunny. Rabbit slithered in the way. Let's blow on him. They're refreshing and clean. Alright, let's spare them. Chris spared Rabbit, and Ralsei spared Rabbit. This again, huh? Wonder if running around this one will do anything. Nope. But I am going to keep going the wrong way, or what's probably the right way. Oh, it's Susie. Hey, losers. Wait a sec. Where's Lancer? Uh, well, he wasn't going the right way, so. You let him wander off by himself? You know he's bad at mazes, right? He's probably lost and confused right now. Oh, she actually cares about him. <laughs> I'm lost and confused. Sorry, Susie. We didn't mean to make you worry about him. Let me guess. I'm not worried about him. Huh? Look, I'm not uh, worried about him. Bing. Bad guys gotta look out for each other is all. Anyway, get out of my way. I'm gonna find him. Seems she doesn't know the right way either, Chris. Oh boy, more ballet dancers. Okay. I did see a gap there, though. Ooh, just barely made it through. Oh, there's a blockner here. Which I can just avoid. And more of these starbirds. Damn, I was sure he went this way. Still trying to save Lancer from being lost. No way, he can save his own damn self. But, uh, tell me if you see him. Chris, let's just go where Susie and Lancer don't go. We can figure out how to help them after we get through. Yeah, I had figured out that much. Oh, oh, we're doing Lost Woods. Okay. Oh, again, we just picked the opposite path. There's no need to fight that again. Ah, damn. Okay, and I missed which direction they went. Okay, go to the right. And through the starbirds again. And we go straight. And we find a save point. Oh, oh, here's the thrashing machine. Chris, isn't that the machine we designed? All right, this will be tough, but let's try our best. Tuna? Oh, that's not good, actually. What a piece of crap. <laughs> you think that's bad, just wait. And see what happens when it starts. It just explodes. Your design sucked, so we blew it up. Ah, I see. So, now what's your plan going to be? Turns out we didn't need a plan, just a rule. Anyone that gets in our way... ...gets crushed into dust. But Susie, you need us to return home. Doesn't crushing us seem a little counterproductive? Nah, see, that's where you're wrong. You see, I know I can't get back without you guys. Being a heh, good guy really isn't my style. So I thought of a little way we can just settle this. If you can beat me, I'll go back to being a good guy. But if you lose, you guys will have to become bad guys with us. And do whatever we say. <laughs> Our wish is your command. So what do you say?
Eh, uh, don't bother answering. We were just gonna thrash you anyway, so... See ya. Two bad guys blocked away. Ooh, this music. Okay, well, I can already tell that trying to reason with Susie isn't gonna work. Anything. Sing. Ooh, sing would be helpful. Hmm. What do I want to do first? Well, let's check. And defend. Susie, attack 14, defense 2, HP 110. If you read the status screen, you already knew that. Yep. Weasel out of this. Prepare for smashing, you luxurious melons. What the? Where'd she get all those axes? Susie and Lancer are making fun of you. Anything. The Fen. He tried convincing Susie not to fight. There was no effect. No way, shut up and fight. Horror, pain, the real power. Susie and Lancer are gloating about how great their team is. Check. Watch out, he's boosted by friendship. And we can heal up. And scared, this bike is fueled by evil and friendship. Susie and Lancer are making fun of you. Alright, X anything. You told Ralsei to compliment the enemies. You two look like a really great team. I'm proud. Lancer started to become a little convinced. Battery won't work on us. Oh, it's working on me. <laughs> Damn, that is one hell of an attack. Susie and Lancer are having an evil laugh contest. X anything again. You told Ralsei to logically best Lancer and Susie. You two, if we don't stop fighting, then someone might get hurt. Lancer became more convinced. It's working. That's the point. Really? That's bad. Susie and Lancer are gloating about how great their team is. X anything. You told Ralsei to offer his services to the enemies. You too. If we stop fighting, then I could, um... Make tea? I could braid your hair. Lancer became almost fully convinced. Uh, I mean, no. Wow, I look amazing! Smells like teamwork. Smells like... Teenagers. Alright. Let's try sing at least once. I'll say sing a soft and entrancing lullaby. Susie fell asleep. And what a beautiful song! And then I hard to avoid that. Susie and, Lance, Susie and Lancer are coming up with a victory celebration plan. X anything. I told Ralsei to deal the final blow of kindness. In summary, I like you two, and I think we should all just get along. Ow. What's wrong, dude? I accidentally started liking the enemies. Now seeing them just makes me feel round and soft. Bad atmosphere for battle, though. Mm -hmm. Well, if you don't want to fight, there's no point, I guess. Battle's over. Well, you didn't beat us because you, uh... Kind of cheated by, uh, ganging up on Lancer with, uh... Kindness. But if I have to, I guess I'll go back to your side. But don't expect me to do anything but fight. Well, we're happy to have you back, Susie. Yeah, yeah, let's just hurry up and go home. Um, Susie? Does this mean we aren't a team anymore? Mm-hmm. Oh, I mean, uh... 
Of course we're still a team. You can, um... Be part of the Lancer fan club. Wow, me and the Lancer fan club? Wait, if I hang out with the good guys, then... Can we still have monogram track jackets? Yeah, or else they will make them. Huh? Okay, sure. That face, ugh. <laughs> Lancer joins the team. Lancer joined the party. Da -da. Well, I guess that works. So now I have Lancer. You can follow behind us, you know. Oh, okay. He's not doing it. I noticed you aren't doing that. Yeah. Okay, then. <laughs> Thrashing room. He didn't actually join the party, did he? And I lost my dog. Aside from that, everything appears to be the same. Well, I can give Susie an Amber card. Better than nothing. Uh... Okay, right, I guess he doesn't want to follow us. It's a lone door frame, but for some reason you can you can't see through it. <laughs> well, he is following us, just not the right way. Wow, this is cool. I've never been on such a big team before. Don't you have a legion of various guys? Yeah, but my dad forced them to listen to me. So they don't actually like me very much. <laughs> well, you don't need those clowns anymore. Just chill with us. Aye, aye. Man, I am still hungry. It's like nothing I eat here matters. Should have stolen more money from the bake sale, I guess. I was thinking of baking a cake later. Mm, what's the catch? You have to stop making fun of me for one. Pass. Jeez. Oh, Look, Susie, a candy tree. Hell yeah. Hi, Daddy99. Yeah, this is my first playthrough. Damn, the last piece is too high to reach. Worry not, Susie. I have a special transformation for times like this. R really? Watch and learn, team. <laughs> Did he just explode? Look, stool form. All you did was put your hands on the ground. Hey, don't act so jealous. <laughs> Smells like teamwork. <laughs> Got it. Oh, tell me what it tastes like. Huh? You haven't had it before? No, I mean, I've always wondered what it's like. But I'm not allowed to pick it for myself. Mm. Well, you tell me what it tastes like. You're giving it to me? I thought you were hungry. I, uh, changed my mind. <laughs> Candy joins the team. Alright, already. <laughs> oh, that's relentless nonsense. So what's it taste like? Yum, yum, yum. It tastes like friendship. What's that taste like? Yeah, like my teeth are disintegrating. Uh, that's... That's actually bad. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for sharing. You're a good friend. Well, uh, you too, I guess. It's just been the same path. Just walking along with you guys, feeling nice. Like I'm doing something important. That's because you're alongside the Lightener's Lancer. Our purpose, Darkener's purpose, is to assist them. It's the only way we can feel truly fulfilled. Really? But my dad hates lighteners. He wants to... 
Does your dad seem happy? I'm not sure. Hey, uh, let's ditch the weird purpose talk. You're probably just glad you ate a weird berry. Yeah, I'm still boost from the juice. I mean, look, I'm not from here and hanging out like this. I also feel kind of, you know... Happy? <sighs> nah. Maybe. Aw. I knew she'd come around eventually. I still can't talk to him. Look, everyone. We can see the castle. Yes, that's where I live. Me and, uh, my, my dad. What's that black thing emerging from the top? That's the fountain, Susie. If we can get there, you and Chris will finally be able to go home. Jeez, took long enough. Chris, Lancer, let's go. <laughs> took long enough. It's only been like three hours. Are you sure there isn't another way home? The fountain is being guarded right now. If you try to go there, um, you, you might get hurt. And what? Come on, Lancer. No one's gonna beat a team like us. If anyone gets in our way, all we gotta do is crush them. But what if you had to fight? Everybody bleeds, right? Don't worry about it. Whoever it is, they'll be cold on the ground before you can blink. But Susie... What? I think... I think I need to go. Huh? Or when are you gonna be back? Never. Hey, wait a second, Lancer! Why are you acting so weird? Susie, wait! Oh, it's going down now. The Lightners are approaching the castle. Get them! I'm, I keep trying to go for tension points, even though I can't get any in this sequence. Hey, I managed to avoid getting hit, so that's something. Ooh, this looks rough. Okay. Right, 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 left, 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 right, right, left, right, right. There's no pattern here, is there? It's just random. Oh, I'll do my best to dodge it. There we go. Lancer. Aw. Oh. Wow, that is some on-point portcullis timing. What are you doing? We've cornered them. Oh, no. They're giving us the flowey treatment. Well, wait. Ow. <laughs> you poor lighteners. We were told to keep you in prison for eternity. Too bad. Would have loved to see you guys punished. <laughs> Doesn't this count as my pun as our punishment? Uh, ow. Well, this is a fine how do you do, isn't it, Chris? In prison for eternity. That sounds like it might take a while. Yeah, forever's a long time. And Susie, where's Susie? We have to find her, Chris, before she gets hurt. Or, um, hurts someone else. Maybe there's something we can escape with in here. Hmm. It's a metal door. You rattle the bars. It's no use. It's locked. Okay. These shackles seem oddly fashionable. Take them? Yeah, sure. Iron shackles put in your armor. Life cannot exist without consuming. Even the moss drinks water. Perpetuate the cycle of existence? Um... Where am I gonna get water? Yeah, sure. You ate the moss. Tastes mossy. Your HP was mossed out. <laughs> Let's see. 
Were they stupid? Yes, they were stupid. They threw us in prison but didn't take our equipment away. Also, it seems like Ralsei is not on my team right now, which is odd. So, Chris, what did you find? What's all that green stuff around your mouth? Two minutes in jail and you've already resorted to eating moss. Um, you're a real go-getter, Chris. Oh, I can't hold character. So you couldn't find anything. Well, Chris, let's not give up hope just yet. But, uh, if we don't make it in for some reason, then I just wanted to say, um... I, I'm glad I was able to meet. Hey, idiots, can you shut up? I'm trying to concentrate. So, Susie, where are you? I don't know, prison. Seriously, though, I'm out of my cell. I sweet talked the warden into giving me the keys. I find it hard to believe Susie sweet talked anyone. I think her axe did the talking. Susie, really? How? She threw him in the trash. I, uh, invited him to visit the trash can. <laughs> anyway, now there's a puzzle in the way. Okay, solve it, Susie. She, she's no good at puzzles, right? I, uh, don't do puzzles. N yep, thought so. Hey, how about we just sit tight and wait for Lancer? He lives in the castle. He's bound to come save us. Why don't Chris and I just help you solve the puzzle? Look, I don't need your help. But, uh, if you said what to do out loud, you know, I wouldn't stop you. Chris, tell Susie what to do. Oh, jeez. Okay, so I'm doing proxy puzzling. Okay, so we need what? Hmm. It needs to go... Spade, diamond, swap, spade, no, wait. Uh, I always screw these up. Spade first. Then diamond. Then swap. Then spade. Perfect. Yes, we did it. Great, now come and free us. All right, all right. Thanks for helping her, Chris. She appreciates it. Chris, are you worried about Susie? Yes. Well, regardless of how you feel, I don't think it would hurt to take a moment. Close your eyes and think about what she's doing now. Oh boy. Alright, out of the cell. Where to next? Left. Huh? Chris, did you say something back there? I can't hear them anymore. I'll just go this way. Ooh, eyeballs. Well, that's a dead end. The, that's Lancer's voice. Damn, not another one of these. Maybe I should go back and ask Chris. And make sure they... Lancer. I'll just do it myself. Wow. That's pretty impressive considering there were no buttons on that puzzle. Understand? They have to stay in their cells. The Lightners can't be allowed to escape. Especially the purple one. Lancer? Uh, Susie? What are you doing here? Lancer, Chris and Rousey are still locked up. I... I know. I... I was the one who told my troops to put you down here. To... To keep you down here. Forever. Lancer, you... You... You wanted to get rid of us? This is gonna be one of those I was trying to protect you kind of things, isn't it? I thought we were a team. I can explain, Susie. Uh. <clears throat> nah, it's fine. It's fine, actually. You don't have to say anything. I get it. I get it, you know. Why would anyone... 
really want to be my friend anyway. Aww. Susie, that's not... Shut up. Uh-oh. I think Lancer's about to get his face bitten off. Shut up. Get out of my way. Did you hear me? Get out of my way. No. Did you not hear me? Man, I tried to warn you. So don't expect me to feel guilty when they have to clean you off the floor. Hey, wanna see what happens to traitors? Jeez, that's more health than he had. They get crushed. I'm wondering what happens if I purposely lose this fight. Ooh, music! If you don't get out of the way, I'll kill you. Technically, you've already killed him, like, twice over. He never had that much health before. Damn, this song. It's killer. <laughs> kind of fitting for the moment. Get it? I'll kill you. I don't think she's going to be able to go through with this. Yeah, you missed, idiot. I don't even have to move anymore. Wait, why aren't you fighting back? You think I care? If you just want to lie down and die? Just making it easier for me. Alright, that's enough. If you want to die so much, then die! Oh, she missed. Susie? You, you missed. I don't want to kill you, man. Just move, please. But Susie, if I let you guys go, then... Then you and my dad will fight, and... And... You'll kill each other. Hmm. At least if you stay here, neither of you will get hurt. <laughs> then I... I... I won't kill him, promise. Me and him will just, uh, talk it out, peaceful style, you know? I... I don't think my dad would like that. Hey, Lancer, come on. We're a team, right? Nothing can stop us, fighting or not, alright? Yeah, yeah, you're right. We might as well try. I can help, too. I'll go talk to my dad. Ripen him up. Hey, now we're getting somewhere. I'll head over right now. Uh, Susie? Yeah? Are... Are we still friends? Uh-huh. Of, of course. I mean, if you want to be. Yeah. See ya. How am I gonna get past his dad like that? Come on, I'll figure something out. Completely forgot about getting us out of the cell. So that's why, okay, Chris? Oh, never mind. I stand corrected. Hey. Susie, you came to save us. I knew you had the heart of a hero, Susie. Yeah, yeah, don't push your luck. Chris and Ralph say join the party. Oh. So Susie's the party leader now. Okay. Let's see. Has anything changed on here? Before I had dog. 
as a stat. Now I don't anymore. Oh, Susie's rudeness has gone down by one. Nice, I love these little details. Also, he still has no guts. He's still very fluffy. Still very kind. I want to go see what that eyeball thing was. Ugh. Yeah, even I got arrested. And I'm just a pair of eyes. What's the world coming to? <laughs> That's all. Okay, then. Hmm. What's over here, I wonder? Oh, the guy in the trash. Thanks for inviting me. This trash can's really great. I apologize for the inconvenience earlier. I'm gonna invite my friends into this trash can, too. Oi. Susie's first solo puzzle. What a nice memory. Stop remembering me fondly. A save point again. Oh. I wasn't expecting there to actually be anything over here. Oh, oh, I'm just the cage. No one talks to me. Well, I just did. You know, one of the puzzle piece guys. Is that Clover in there? And that's, uh, Rathy, too. But I don't recognize this guy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We are the three former kings. We beg you, free us. Once all four of us ruled together, but when the night arrived, everything changed. Oh, my diamonds, my jewels. You must tell me if they're all right. Oh. What, you say? Your world is in danger? Well, that's a shame, isn't it? Hmm. Can we free them? I was arrested for making a puzzle without a license. I, I'll never make another word search, promise. Same dialogue, okay. Since I didn't want to fight you guys, I got locked up. How can I? You guys seem way nicer than the king. Us an are those animal crackers? Us animals used to be alone in these cages, now everyone's here. So many new people. Wish we could go back to the good old days. When it was just us in these filthy cages. The sound of various animals tumbling around. It's... It's a box of animal crackers. <laughs> it's tough being the fourth cage. I'm Golden Sam. Are you enjoying the show? Oh, that's an interesting thing to find. Something tells me I was not supposed to go that way at first. Very dark elevator. Alright, this lift should take us out of here. Beep. Now, it might take a while, so... Get comfy, everyone. Hey, Ralsei. You know Lancer's dad, the king? Yes. When we meet him, you think we'll have to hurt him? Susie? I mean, I could easily smash him, but... You guys, I know that's not really your thing. You know more about uh, groveling like total losers. And I was thinking maybe I could do that too. Susie, you mean you want to try acting? Oh, uh, well... Susie, we'd be happy if you acted with us. And don't worry, we'll be there to help you. You won't have to figure it out by yourself. Mm. Sure, alright. Mm. Hey, Rosie. Susie? Are you... still gonna make those, uh, cakes? Well, will you stop making fun of me? 
just gonna say pass again? Well, if I have to, I guess. Then I'll bake you as many as you like, alright? Yeah, like you can make that many, dude. <laughs> hey, we're here. Well, this is our stop. Hey, Chris, wait a sec. You know, I'm starting to realize it'll be easier for us to get out of here if we all, uh, get along a little more. So next time we fight an enemy, if you tell me what to do, I'll listen to you. But, you know, don't tell me anything stupid, or I'll go back to smashing heads, alright? Also, I just noticed this elevator has doors in two different directions, which makes no sense. Chris, I'm counting on you, okay? Susie, join the party for real. Aw, how nice. Ooh, dare I? This is really tempting. Yeah, let's do it. Oh. What have I stumbled upon? <laughs> so lonely and lonely I be. But though three visitors standing inside, who are you few? Nice to meet you. I'm Valse. This is Chris and... So, what the hell are you doing in there? I am innocent, innocent. I just wanted to play a game, game. But the boring kings found such fun to be trouble. As punishment, they c they crave to imprison my body. But I'm fast, fast, clever, clever. They lost the chase and locked up their entire race, building a prison around the whole world. Now I'm the only free one. Huh? Free? But you're clearly the one behind bars. Things don't seem such from here, Lightners. <laughs> Well, sounds like you don't need any help, then. That is unso. I grow lonely in my little freedom. So, shall you play a game with me? Me? I'll show you what it means to be free. Oh boy. This is really ominous. I don't know what I'm getting myself into here. But sure. Let's play a game within a game. Find the key and I'll let you be free, free. The key is hidden from the eyes. The old shopkeeper knows a secret. Hmm. Find the key and I'll let you be free, free. The key is hidden from the eyes. Okay. So I need to go back and talk to whatever his name was. Seem, Sham, whatever his name. Where will you ride the elevator to? First floor. Oh, wait, there's one more thing I want to do before. Let's see if this does anything. Nope, same as everywhere else. Alright, first floor. Ugh. This is unpleasantly dark. Elevator to prison. Formerly known as elevator to basement, which just happened to have a lot of cages. <laughs> okay. Uh oh. That looks like a knight of some kind. Rudin Rangers come sparkling into view. Alright, let's try this. Hmm. We'll just have Ral say defend. He told Susie to compliment the enemy. Uh, are you serious? What good can I say about someone trying to kill us? Uh, seriously, if you're stuck, why not try saying something you wish someone would say to you? 
you are unbanned from free ham sandwich day. No one ever said that to me before. Glimmer glamour. Ah, uh, game. Rudin Ranger fantasizes about divine gems. <laughs> Unbanned from free ham sandwich day. Alright, let's spare this one. Can't spare that one. We need Chris to do things. I, I kind of want to see what Susie says. Let's do this again. We'll have her out say spare this one. Susie complimented the enemy. Your outfit is not disgusting. I'll say spare the Rudin Ranger. The gang never said that to me before. Damn, that variable speed is really hard to dodge. It smells like crystal. Okay. Defend. Defend. And Ralsei can heal Susie. Ralsei cast heal prayer. Long live the king! I think this is specifically designed to punish you for trying to build tension points. Alright, let's spare it. Chris, spare the Rudin Ranger. Diamond door. Rudin's room. Yes, that's a door. Okay, the order... I remember I needed to remember this from before. The order of the rooms in Card Castle. Diamond. It's just a diamond. Elevator to top floor. Currently stuck at the top floor until someone rides it down. Well, ain't that great. room or go down here. Let's go see what's down here. A whole lot of nothing, apparently. Oh, we're back outside. We just leave? Totally can. Let's we'll see the shopkeeper about that key before I do anything else in the castle. Let's see, where was he? He was near the field, right? Yeah. Welcome, travelers. Strange prisoner. Oh, wait, have I? I don't remember this. Historically, this land was ruled by the four kings from Card Castle to the East. Recently, oh, yeah, I've already heard this. Okay. Strange prisoner. Uh -huh. What are you talking about? A prisoner with an odd manner? No, you couldn't possibly be talking about him. I see. After all the trouble I went through to lock him up, you want to release him? Hmm, now that you mention it, it could be troublesome if he was left alone. Yes, perhaps it's better if you hear who has dealt with him now. After all, it's not as if whatever happens will matter in the end. Perhaps a little chaos might be fun. So then, take this. Broken key A was added to your key items. If you're so driven, find the other two pieces and get someone to fix them. I'll even give you a hint. Walk where the stars don't shine. Anyhow, if you succeed, come back here and tell me. Good luck. If you can call this luck. No, it's more like a curse. Walk where the stars don't shine. Where have we seen stars? Well, this looks like a star. part of a key. A smith can fix all three parts. We gotta take it to the toy hammer guy, I imagine. It's a door. Where will you go? 
Hmm. Walk where the stars don't shine. Where don't the stars shine? I can think of one place. No, I forgot about that. That makes slithered in the way. Let's see what Susie has to do with this. Oh, nothing. Susie up. Ugh, what a waste. I wasn't expecting that carrot attack. The battlefield is filled with the smell of dusty mustard. Ugh. Okay. Stars don't shine. me. I'm on break. Say, help me. I need to get something for my friend Clover's birthday. Yeah, these were the... This was just the hint about Clover's talk weaknesses. Oh, this again. Rabbit slithered in the way. Breathe on him. Alright, let's get rid of him. Chris spared Rabbit and Susie spared Rabbit. Hey, it's the salsa stump. It's a stump with some kind of dinner hole. And can't do anything with that. And now every time I see one of these, I'm going to be compulsed to walk around it in circles to see if anything happens. There's the ball. I'm just a little ball. I don't want to discuss anything. Okay. Ah, that was dumb. I knew that was there, too. But, with this, I now know that the first point of that pattern was in... I knew the first symbol of that pattern before was a uh, diamond. Okay, let's... Rival? Hmm. Let's try it. Can't heal yet. Susie became antagonistic. Why bother training? You'll never beat me. The enemies became tired. The momentum is totally blocked up. Getting hit there was not the idea. The boxer is starting to break apart with exhaustion. Training? Yeah, like I need that to beat you down. Just saying that, the enemies became tired. Let me pacify it. I do need to heal myself, though. Clover's not here anymore, just a regular hole. Although this does seem like the kind of place they would hide something. That's right, they put Clover in prison. Okay, no, this is not it. It was right after this point, I think. This cardboard stand is actually just a fake cardboard stand of a cardboard stand. Yep, and now it's no longer an enemy stand. Okay, walk where the stars don't shine. Stars don't shine on this little path. I'm just assuming walk in dark areas. I'm not even sure if that's right. 
Let's try something else here. Let's put this thing back together and then have Susie rival it and see if that changes anything. Luctor is pleased with its new self. Oh. Double Tetris, okay. Ah, they can still hurt you after they land? It's terrible. Now rival it. And then defend. Susie became antagonistic. Rain? Yeah, like I need that to beat you down. The enemy became tired. Hmm. No difference. Alright, we can spare this one. And Susie can't really do anything, so... Pacify him. I was thinking there might be something, one of the keys hidden on this little dark path here, but I guess not. Eat the, eat the leaves, yep. Okay, that's still the same. I have no idea what that clue could mean. But I did backtrack quite a ways, so... I gotta catch back up to where I was before. I'm still wondering how to reach that, too. Not sure yet. Hey, you two didn't mess with my hideout, did you? Wonder if hideout might be overselling it a bit? Nah, I took a nap in there, so it's basically my house now. Wonderful. Oh, this thing again. This thing kinda looks like a star. Now I'm gonna be seeing this everywhere, huh? Ding. Oh, there's no bell. Oh, the bell's on the other side now. Okay. Wonder if anything will change here. Nope, that's as dark as it's gonna get. And there's nothing else interesting in the tree. Okay. I'm just looking for anywhere I can break a boundary or something like that. Who knows, maybe I can't find these key pieces yet. And I'm kind of just wandering blindly, so... Why are they still fanning? Ugh, I'm jealous of everyone with a leaf. You have a sword, though. I thought I hated fanning leaves, but I got really into it. Swish, swish, I could do this forever. Swish, swish, oh, fanning? I'm not fanning. This is a weighted leaf. I'm just building out my muscles. Weighted leaf. Okay, then. Oh, I can't get back into the... What the... Okay, I just managed to walk off the screen. So that happened. How the... Yep, I just totally broke boundary. Okay. That seemed a little too easy. And there's definitely still walls here. Is there something up here, maybe? No? going up and see if something happens. No, it doesn't look like it. Now I gotta walk all the way back down, right? Jesus let me go a long way.
Okay. What's the catch here? I can get around the wall. I can't go back in here. left, I guess. See if anything changes. Nothing. This way? There's gotta be something I'm missing here. This is this all seems too intentionally designed to be a mistake or a bug. Hmm, maybe I'm approaching this the wrong way. Because it doesn't seem like walking off the screen is getting me anywhere. doing something. Let's see. You think it's just a glitch, huh? It might be. But somehow I doubt it with the way these games tend to be designed. I managed to get over here. Did that take me to a new area? No, it just took me back to the door. I'm not going to screw around here too much longer. I do want to see if I can make something happen here. must be a reason for this. I can get up over here now. I was able to do that before, though. Well, I'll come back and mess with it more later. Kind of cool, though. I had no idea. Alright. Maybe we go back to the castle now? Yeah, amazingly, you're- oh, wait, yeah, I'm already here. Durr. Now I'm gonna be trying to do this everywhere. It's gonna totally ruin my concentration. Oh, it's you again. Let's run past you. Since you're on a fixed patrol. Ooh, Rudin's room is full of sparkly gems. Normal, everyday riches acquired from legitimate source. Yeah, I'm sure. We sold all of our beds to replace them with treasure. My back hurts, but life has never been better. Hey, it's you. You're that peaceful lightener. Whoa, you even tamed the beast that was tormenting us. Beast? What beast? Oh, that's right. You weren't there. Oh, you even taught the beast to talk? Who? <laughs> Ooh, throwing some shade at Susie here. Here, have a Choco Diamond. I'm sorry, we don't have any room for that. That's okay, I already ate it. Nice. Looks like a family photograph. Smells like jewelry. Okay, there's nothing to do down here. Wait, I should probably go save before I go any further. 
Was there a save point near here? I can't remember. No, there was not. Ah, no big deal. I probably saved before I came up here anyway. Just run past these. Oh, spikes. Lovely. And is there anything down below? Yes, there is. Open the treasure chest. Inside was Club Sandwich. You're carrying too many items. Okay. Need to get rid of something. Let's get rid of one of these candies. Or beat it to Ralse. Yummy marshmallows. <laughs> and Susie says, hey, feed me. Opened the treasure chest and got a club sandwich. Alright. Okay, so the order now is diamond, uh, spade. For that code that said that it was in the order of the rooms. Castle bathroom, royal flush, currently unoccupied. Or currently occupied, oh. We found the bathroom. It's a shame we can't get any TP unless we're in a fight. Just a random patch of dirt on the ground here. Oh, the worms have decided to crawl out and play. There's a plane going by. I'm not sure if you can hear it. Sorry about that. Uh, who's there? Yeah, those fools. Oh, so this is rules card. Hmm, what kind of voice should this guy have? I think he needs something grandiose. I am rules card, our greatest adversary. Thou may have clodsed past all those other conundrums, but those were created by utter weaklings. Now prepare thyself for the strongest puzzle of thy life. Toil, worms. Are you serious? Lost, frightened, confused? Good. <laughs> Toil it in despair at the world's strongest puzzle. You gotta be kidding me with this. My, art thou still stuck up upon my puzzle? Trapped hopelessly like an insect in a roach's inn? Ah, perhaps I could find it in my heart to spare you. Should you grovel for 100 years? <laughs> yeah, no. He looks so crushed. God damn it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, that was pretty funny. And then you can just undo the puzzle again. Huh. <sighs> Well, that really was not much of a puzzle. Wonder if maybe the bathroom's open now. Cause you know I need to get in the bathroom. I also need to stop stealing other people's jokes. Nope, still occupied. Okay then. Then we go up. Oh, more Hathies. Blue Hathies. Head Hathie blocked away quietly times three. This one only has one tooth each. Oops, no, no, I don't want to attack. Oh, we're flirting now. Okay, X-flirt. You ordered Susie to flirt with the enemy. And hell no. Ah, 
Susie, it's okay if you don't know how. What? Shut up. That's not the problem. Are you sure? Alright, look, wise guy. I'll show you. Watch this. <clears throat> so, uh, come here often? Ted Hathi felt awkward and left. Hey, get back here and let me flirt with you. Uh-oh. Well, that wasn't too bad. Head Hathi's mind is an enigma. Fine, then I'll do the flirting. Flirted with Head Hathi. It was highly effective. Well, Chris has natural charm, apparently. I must have I must have some sort of hidden charisma stat. Or maybe it's the cuteness from that ribbon. No wait, I'm not even wearing that. Ed Hathi's body moves silently. Okay. Let's try flirting again. And we'll have Ralse say spare this one. You ordered Susie to flirt with the enemy. Hell no, nah. let's see Ralse do it. I suppose it can't be helped. Happy, your beauty is just transcendent. Your hair is like a waterfall of... Wait, um, do you have hair, or... Head up, you felt awkward and left. Oh, oh dear, wait. Not so easy, huh? Alright. Oh, well, that was an experience. Even though I didn't get any experience. Okay, here's the second room. So it's Diamond Heart. And more Hathies. Hathi looked at you kindly. Your sins against Hathi were forgiven. Looks like Hathi sold all the gems and replaced them with beds. Looks extremely well slept. Looks like a bed. Do you rest here? No, you won't. It's not your bed. I'm gonna check all four of them just in case. Nope. Also not my bed. You thoroughly investigated all the beds. I knew it. I knew there would be something. Your rank was upgraded to bed inspector. Nice. Bed inspector inspects all beds inexplicably. <laughs> uh, level one. Oh, she's changed to a dark knight. Nice. Prickly prince deals damage with his rugged scarf. Stats haven't changed much. Alright, let's get out of here. Another Hathi. Head Hathi blocked away quietly. He ordered Susie to flirt with the enemy. Oh my god, Chris, I can't. Do it yourself. He said some sweet lines. The enemies were deeply enamored. Just me, or did that make their attack even faster? It smells like a lonely kiss. Ugh. All right, spare them. Chris spared head happy. Ditto, and so on. Up to the third floor, where we have more ballet dancers. Okay, Diamond Heart Club. Spade. The last one has to be Spade, unless there's another Diamond Room. Oh, this again. Yeah! Those guys really think that was all I had? Wrong! It's time for you to feel my real power! Behold, my ultimate puzzle! How about you? Yeah, face the true strongest puzzle, worms. This time, the difficulty out magnitude's grander. See thou in 100 years, thou feeble insects. Oh, such despair. Oh, such sweet despair. Despair so delicious. 
Squirps, squirps upon the earth like a moist noodle. Oh, 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 such repeated lines. Oh, god damn it. Ah, uh, ah, uh ah, -huh, ah, uh ah, -huh, gullible worms. That wasn't really my ultimate puzzle. I have waste better one right here. Can, can we see it? No. <laughs> also, I saw a little sparkle off the side of the screen there. I'm going to take a wild guess. Can I get off the boundary somehow? No, doesn't look like it. Hey! <sighs> Rules card was standing here. Sorry, I'm sighing. I didn't get much sleep. There was a little sparkle here. I thought it might have been one of the key pieces, but... Those are probably going to be pretty difficult to find. Okay, now this path is open. We can get into the club door. Okay, what is going on in here? It's Clover. Oh, let us take your coat and put it in the toilet. Which we don't even have. Please try the baseballs. Yeah, eat so many you choke. Do they eat sports? And we can all play Twister. Just stay out of our way. We lose even by ourselves. Is that a three-headed bed? That's weird. I'm the first party member. I'm in charge of the DPS. Dance and party soundtrack. Okay. It's a tree for parties. It's a tree for parties. Happy is the second party member. It's the healer. He was in charge of catering the party. Unfortunately, the cake she commissioned was destroyed in a field somewhere. It's a giant baseball for parties. Actually, it seems the giant baseball is a soccer ball that's been painted over. It would be easier to draw that way. <laughs> it's a boombox. It's playing club's music. God, the puns. I can't take all the puns. It's a bed for a three people or one three-headed person. Let's see if my stats changed again because of that. That's a risk when one always runs when ordering a cake. Well, I do have a cake. I have no idea what the purpose of this room is, though. Other than flavor, I guess. Okay. Do I want to go back and try and get through that password door now that I have the code? There's a save point right here. Let's go into the club door. Or, the spade door, I mean. Oh, I get it. Someone's been digging holes, because it's a spade door. It's a hole made recreationally. You found 20 rupees in the hole. Unfortunately, that's not a useful currency here. Yeah, we only accept dark dollars and G, whatever G is. There's a salsa buried in the hole. There's salsa buried in the ground here. Oh, this has got to be Lancer's room. It's a hole, presumably dug for fun. It's a music player. Listen to the contents? Sure. It's full of cartoon splat noises. One more time, just for the hell of it. A bicycle is lovingly tucked into bed. <laughs> nice. It's some kind of digging implement. Okay. Well, Lancer's room is appropriately weird. This seems like a trap. But I'll try it anyway. Oh. Welcome to my shop, you ungrateful worms. It's Rules Card. Or, well, I don't know. He's a different color. Maybe it's not. Let's talk to him. Uh, what is thine interest? About yourself. I am the Duke of Puzzles, Rules Card. My hobbies include us calligraphy, lawn keeping, bug keeping, cages, and long walks in the dungeon. Art thou one of my admirers, worm? 
Ah, uh, what is thy interest? Why sell to us? Uh -huh. So I might amass funds, worms, an army of funds, so that I may crush us though like fermented grapes into a most delicious and an adult beverage. Vengeance! Ah. Oh, how I amuse myself. Our Lord King are the cruel and terrifying monarch. However, he is also brilliant, for he decided this debt to appoint me as Duke of Puzzles. After pretty much as everyone else was fired or placed inside a cage. Truly a benevolent ruler. His son, on the other hand, is more troublesome than a fistful of fleas. He always asks me the worst the queries and calleth me his lesser dad. Our relation is none, you little water beetle. I placate you for your father's sake. I do not wish it to hear your mp3s, I would rather listen to the sweet song of death. How is he anyhow? Okay. Anything else? Rules rule. Fragrant sauce heals 50 health. Brave axe. Heroic and cool weapon. Baby scarf. Homemade, homemade healing up. And another amber card, which I already have. Let's buy the scarf, and the axe, and I guess I'll buy one of these. That doth carry too much. Okay. Selleth items. What item sells you proper? I can sell one of these donuts. And one of the Choco Diamonds. I shall make use of this. Me turns. By uh, rules rue or row rules row fragrance sauce yeah but I don't have any curry or I don't have any rice to put over it okay that's all see that in the dungeon worms hmm. well this is clearly wait. There's another floor, so what's this? Oh, an elevator. Oh, nice! Yeah, let's take the elevator back down. Only go down one floor? No, no, it went back down to the bottom. Nice. Perfect. Exactly what I wanted. Well, let's go find that door I couldn't get through. Let's see, what was the pattern? It was diamond, heart, club, spade. Now I just need to remember where it was. It was fairly early on, if I remember right. Yeah, it's up here. Wow, I found it quick. No, I don't need to fight you. Uh, never mind. Smorgasbord. Okay. Friend the sorry. And I guess we'll just defend with the rest. Barely lifted a finger, and Jigsari is on my side. I always wanted a friend just like you. I'm just a normal person. Nom, nom, nom. Avi is whispering a lovely spell. Spare the Jigsari. And we'll just uh, defend. He told Rudin to quit fighting. It was utterly swayed. So he spared Jigsari. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Get some more toilet paper. We dismiss Rudin. And. Oh, I just wasted a turn there. Okay, which direction? Left. Okay. Perfect. Oh, now we can flatter. Oh, I should have done that to begin with. Alright. We ordered Susie to flatter all the enemies. Can't believe my bozo teammates wanted to fight someone like you so much. Wow, that's a one hell of a backhanded compliment. From the bottom, the order of our rooms in the card castle. Of course, if you haven't been there, you won't know it. Okay, this could be rough. How does this work again? Okay, 
Yeah, yeah, they go one after the other. So, needs to be... Let's see... Now you're gonna have to do it in reverse order, so the spade needs to be last. Which means... Heart... Oh no, wait, the first one was diamond. Let's see... Diamond, heart... I've already screwed this up, haven't I? Yep. That's not gonna work. Okay. I think here. Diamond, heart. I'm gonna have to shift them later. Then it's club and spade. Which means... The club... No, the spade needs to be first. And then... Shift it and place it. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Easier than I expected. Open the treasure chest. Inside was broken key. Oh, nice! Well, that's where we find part of the key. How does that clue make any sense, though? Stars don't shine. Whatever. Found part of the key. Now, where could the other one be? It's gotta be something to do with that boundary break. Or maybe... Oh, that chest I couldn't reach in the... Woods. That's gotta be it. There must be another hidden place I can walk around the boundaries in there to reach that uh, chest that was off-screen that I couldn't reach. Hmm. I want to go try and get that. I wouldn't even know where to begin. Why not? Let's try it. Okay, it was down here somewhere. So there must be a place that I can slip off the screen and reach it. I think I accidentally went the long way, but it's not that big of a deal. Aw, oh, thought I could slip past you. Alright, rival it, and then just spare it. Oh, right. Oops. I forgot that makes them tired instead of turning them yellow. Defend. Defend. Pacify. Just past here. So there must be a place that I can reach this from. Nope. Damn, I'm always gonna fall for that. Didn't mean to attack there. Button mashing too much. What happens if I blow on him again? Oh, it just blows them away. Nice. Probably should have been able to come up with that myself, but... Meh. Wait, I can just... blow on and then spare. Hmm. 
no, I went the wrong way. This is not where I was supposed to be. It must have been after the bake sale. Yeah, this is the place. Nah, I got caught. Okay. Rival. Defend. I keep forgetting that Ralsei can pacify after that move. Okay, we'll spare it. It was on the next screen, so there's no point in doing this here. I think it was on the next screen. Yeah, this is the place. There's a chest down there on the boundaries that I can't reach. And there doesn't seem to be any path to it. So there must be a spot here where I can walk off the screen and reach it somehow. Aha! Wow, good guess. Damn, that was a lot easier to find than I thought it would be once I actually started looking for it. Ah, too many rabbits. Get it away. Blow him away. Treasure chest and got broken key B. Nice. That's all three of them. fight it in dust bunnies for me. Alright, so... Now I should be able to go back into the basement and see what's behind that door. Something tells me it's something horrible. All in all, those key pieces weren't too hard to find. Long... <laughs> See ya. Okay, let's save. And back to the castle we go. Ride the elevator to to question marks. Oh wait, I forgot. I'm I skipped a step. I actually can't do this yet. Because I forgot to have him actually fix the key. But that won't take long, just go back to the bake sale. And go up here and talk to the hammer guy again. Malleus. I can fix anything. What will it be? Fix the key. Oh, that key is seething with energy. You must let me fix it. Oh, ah, let's feel my technique. Broken key parts are fixed beyond recognition. The broken key parts became the prison key. Hmm, this key has a terrible energy coming from it. Please understand that I only fixed it so that you will never have to use it. Seems kind of counterintuitive. You, if you never wanted us to use it, you should have just destroyed the thing. 
Anyway, that's that done. And now we should be able to get into this door. And... I don't know, I'm starting to get the idea that this is going to be a hidden boss. Well, let's see what the game's got to throw at me. <laughs> the key, the key. The marvelous fun is about to break free. Won't you let yourself outside? You put the door key in front of the door. And a door appeared in the door. Door key created a door. Oh boy. Here we go. <laughs> visitors, visitors, now we can play, play. Then after you, I can play with everyone else too. So what are we playing exactly? Oh, it's just a simple numbers game. <laughs> When your HP drops to zero, you lose. So that's the kind of game you want to play, huh? Then I gotta warn you. You're dealing with a couple of sharks. <laughs> shark to shark, I wouldn't have it any other way. Now, now, let the games begin. Oh, jeez. What have I gotten myself into? Devil. There's no strategy to defeat this enemy. Good luck. Oh man, this song. Ah, oh, got hit already. There, crackles with freedom. Something tells me this is a bad idea, but we'll try it. Chris spun around. Jebel got slightly more tired, and... Jebel felt at ease. Jebel's defense dropped. Shall we play the ring around? <clears throat> ah, how are you supposed to dodge this? It smells like chaos. Hypnosis. Susie spun or something around. Jebel's next attack weekend. Jebel became more tired. My hearts go out to all you sinners. Ah, damn. The world is spinning, spinning. All right, let's get Ralsei back up. Actually, no. I'll have Susie do it, because she can't act. Chris spun around. Jebel got slightly more tired, and... Tranquil, the dance defended the party. Susie used Rules Rule. Uh-oh. Okay. Wow, dodging this stuff is almost impossible. Okay, let's use my spin cake. Get everyone back on their feet. Here, here, let's ride the carousel game! Damn! I don't think there's been a single cycle I've managed to avoid getting hit on yet. Hypnosis. <laughs> Having fun? Join the club! Okay, we're doing this again. The world is spinning, spinning. Can't spare it yet.
Okay. Use my club sandwich. I can do anything. Hot diamonds. I can do anything. Ah, I actually avoided getting hit. Jevil is laughing incomprehensibly. Hypnosis. Became more tired. Who keeps spinning the world around? Oh, I see. Okay. I'm starting to catch on. You kids are really keeping up. I can do anything. Well, almost. Hypnosis. Ralsei chanted something. Jevil's next attack weakened. Jevil became more tired. Ah, I never had such fun. Fun. Jeez. Smells like chaos. I need some serious healing. Let's throw random chaos. Have Susie eat a burger. Or feed Ralsei a burger. And Ralsei can defend. Chris spun around. Jevil got slightly more tired and felt at ease. Defense dropped. Dark burger. A beauty is joying in my heart. Ah, damn. Feels like a whirlwind. This music is awesome. I'm pretty sure I heard a cover of this. I can't recall who it was. Awkward. Upcoming attack will hurt rapidly. Uh-oh. Even Devil's Knife is smiling. Okay, this is the one that screws me every time. Oh, damn. Yep, this is not happening. We're dead. It appears you have reached... an end. Will you try again? Then, the future is in your hands. Damn, that was ridiculous. See if I can equip anything better before I try this again. Shackle that ironically increases your attack and defense. Okay. I can equip the Brave Axe, a glossy axe from a block warrior, suitable for heroes. And I can equip the Dainty Scarf. Ah, healing power. Excellent. I'll protect everyone. Alright, let's try it again. I gotta try this guy one more time. The door key created a door. Oh, it skipped the dialogue that time, even though I reloaded. Clever. Or actually, I didn't reload, it just put me outside the save point. Also, I'm looking at this image in the back and trying to figure out what it is. It looks like a carousel. A little like carousel horses. Alright. Let's do this. Chaos, chaos. Catch me if you can. Smells like chaos. Hypnosis. Shall we play the ring around? Ah, oh, hell. 
My hearts go out to all you sinners. Next attack weekend, and again more tired. Ah, let's make the devil's knife. Could we maybe not? I can't figure out how to dodge this. Ugh. Hip hip, let's ride the carousel game. I do anything. <laughs> Having fun, join the club. Oh, I see. I saw the pun. Hypnosis again. I can do anything. Hearts, diamonds, I can do anything. Ow. Except let me dodge, apparently. Feels like a whirlwind. Hypnosis. Who keeps spinning the world around? Man, some of these are just impossible to avoid. I'm sure that's not true. I know there's a way to no-hit this, but... I'm sure it's hell not gonna pull it off, I don't think. Alright, let's... Throw a Revival Mint at Susie. You kids are really keeping up! I can do anything! Damn! Gnosis? Yoo ha! I never had such fun! Beauty is joying in my heart. Alright, got a lot of toilet paper out of that one. Hypnos him again. Even devil's knives. No, not this. It's so exciting, I can't take it! Chaos Bomb was prepared for you. Uh-oh. This is it, boys and girls! See ya! Oh man, he's throwing everything in the kitchen sink this time. It still wasn't enough. Enough, you kids tired me up. Something terrible is coming. Can we spare him yet? His name isn't Blue. I don't know, is this gonna work? I don't know. 
to do hypnosis again or try to spare him. Hypnosis again. Sack weekend, it became more tired. Kidding, here's my final chaos. I knew it. Oh, jeez. This is just an instant kill, isn't it? Oh, no. Devil's pulling out all the stops. I need to heal myself. Badly. Another hypnosis. We're dead, though. Oh, he's looking exhausted. It's all too much fun! Let's try not to die. Truly exhausted. Yes, we can do it. Pacify him. Did I do it? What fun! I'm exhausted. You kids tired me up. Now I will sleep for the other hundred years. Unfortunately, you kids cannot have such a pleasant dream. From now, a nightmare will awaken in your hearts. In the shadow of the knight's hand. Lightners, can you stop it? <laughs> Either way, a mischief, mischief, a chaos, chaos. Lightners, from inside your little cell. Take this and do your strongest. <laughs> Jevil's tail added to your armor. Ooh, what a fight. Well, that's that done. That was nuts. Great boss fight track for that one, too. Alright. Oh, wait. I should go and get another cake before I fight the last boss. And maybe buy some more food, too. At least I'm assuming I'm headed toward the last boss now. Oh, well thank you, Daddy. I appreciate it. That was a, it's a pretty ridiculous fight. I wouldn't blame anybody for dying on that. I think I might have just gotten a little lucky. Let's see, where was the... This is not where I meant to go, but I can talk to him about the Jevil. About Jevil. He, he was a funny little man. Once the court jester, I the court magician. A friend? Could I consider him a friend? Perhaps. Perhaps not. But he was the only one who matched me in the games we used to play. One day, he met a strange someone, and since then he began to change. He started saying bizarre things that didn't completely make sense. But it didn't completely not make sense either. Soon he began to see the world as a game, and everyone as its participants. As the court mage, and his only companion, I was forced to lock him away. Or rather, lock us all away, in his own words. Since that time, the strange words he'd said had stuck inside my cotton, and my view of this world has become darker, yet darker. Reflecting on these old memories, I think perhaps I miss playing games with him. And I wonder, if I hadn't been asked to lock him up, would I have found a little more purpose in my life? We won. You defeated him? You really defeated him? I see. Perhaps you three may truly be heroes after all. But Jevil was just a taste of what you'll face from now on. One day soon, you too will begin to realize the futility of your actions. <laughs> At that time, feel free to come back here. I'll make you tea. And we can toast to the end of the world. Oop. Yeah, that was a ridiculous fight. 
Yeah, Susie's been my ally for a while. Thanks, Save Star. Okay, uh, what was I doing? I was gonna go see Top Cake. Or Top Chef. And get another cake. That's some good stuff. I went the wrong way. I don't need to save again. And I don't need to fight you. Ah, dang. Okay, well, I can deal with this. Ooh, S flatter. Let's try it. And then Ralph, Ralph Sagan spare whatever happens. You ordered Susie to flatter all the enemies. Can't believe my bozo teammates came back here just to see you guys. I'm just a normal person. Has no strong opinions one way or the other. All he knows is that his heart says maybe. Mamma mia, you want an inferior cake, my friend? Take cake. Please take this cake. It's worthless, my dear friend. You got the spin cake. Uh, again? Okay. You ordered Ralsei to flatter all the enemies. We don't need AXP. Just encountering your smile is reward enough. Face my diamond cutter. I hope uh, I hope the voices I was doing weren't too cringeworthy. I somewhat entertain the thought of being a voice actor someday, but I think I may have gone a little overboard with the, uh, Jevil voice. Then again, going overboard seems like that whole character in a nutshell. It's a door. Back to the castle. We'll go see Rules Card and buy some more food before we face whatever else this game has to throw at me. Ride the elevator. Yep. Ride the shoe puff. Impossible. <laughs> this song is just ridiculous. <clears throat> okay. No new dialogue options. See thou in the dungeon, worms. Alright. What's next? Enough wor- Oh. Oh, this is rules card. Enough worms. Thou may have cheated th through mine puzzles, but in combat thou shalt be scattered about. Come, knaves, prepare for battle with- Whatever this is! Ah, uh, it's the enemy from earlier. But its crown looks different. It looks the same. Yes, with my control crown. I must control any disc ship life form. Oh no. It looks like it's in pain. It looks the same. Yes, the control crown is painful. But I'm certain this creature will feel the relief. When it sees how much more pain thou'll be in. Here it comes again. Okay, we already know how to beat this thing. Oh, Susie has an idea. Okay. Susie, you want to act? Uh, what's your idea? Uh, well, how do I say this? I kind of need you for this one. That's fine, Susie. I'll help. You want to apologize to it for earlier, right? Nah, I just need you to stay still. Chris, we gotta get that crown off its head. Help me throw Ralsei at it. Oh, jeez. You kidding me? Okay. Uh, 
This isn't gonna work. Ground loosened a little. Ow. I have been stompeth on. Ground is 20% loose. Okay, we're really doing this Ralsei throwing thing. The crown greatly loosened. Something tells me Ralsei is not going to appreciate this. 55% loose. Crown greatly loosened. Alright, one more shot. Crown greatly loosened. And falls off. You're not kinged anymore, you stupid little checker. Let me guess, he's gonna say God damn it again. Why, brilliant! It's just brilliant! I knew you could do it! Thou great heroes, thou! Now see it, that was merely a friendly test of thine abilities. But thou hast won, and now nothing blocks thine path. I personally could not be less of an obstruction. Thank you. Luck be with you, heroes. He <laughs> just nooms away. Oh, this has got to be the throne room. Yep. Riches, they shine with avarice. Riches, they shine with avarice. Wall banners, they seem to have been through some kind of struggle. It's a throne. It seems to have been damaged in a struggle. Hmm. Alright. Hey, there's Lancer. Father! Lancer, my son. Have you dispatched the Lightners as I commanded? No, but I did even better. It turns out we don't actually have to fight them. They said they could just talk to you and... They're alive? Yes, and I think you'll like them a lot. There's Susie, she's very purple and strong and... Where are they now? Um... Hey. It's nice to meet you. Lancer. Lancer, my son. Yes, Father? Do you remember what I told you? D don't get too attached. You have failed. They have, they have poisoned you with their sentimentality. Free yourself, Lancer. They care not for you. Their only goal is to destroy our glorious fountain. They are scum. No, they aren't. What did you say? Let him go. Ha 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 ha. You want me to let him go? Then how about this? I'll drop him off the edge and let him splatter. Unless you all kneel and learn your place. What will it be, Lightners? Don't listen to him, Susie. Help. Help. Now watch, Lancer. See what happens when you befriend Lightners. What the... You... you traitor! Come back here! Alright, enough already. Who the hell do you think you are? <laughs> to my people, I am a hero. To you... The bad guy. Oh man. Okay. I don't even know what to say about this one. Giant mutant Lancer thing. Let's check him first. 
king, abandoned by the Lightners, his heart became cracked with hatred. He cannot be reasoned with, but don't give up. How dare you come here, Lightners? Well, his attacks don't seem that bad. The battlefield is rumbling. Susie tried to reason with the king. Alright, listen up. Lancer's my friend. So if we can get by without hurting you, then... If I perish, so be it. Show my son the monster you really are. Alright, you want to see what I can do, huh? Susie's will is changing. Talk became Red Buster. You left us in the shadows stripped of meaning. Whoa, what the hell? Okay. He's moving the whole box on me. Talk. Ralsei tried to reason with the king. I might not realize it, but this is a world where you don't have to fight. I know if we try, we can all find another way. Such a simple-minded platitude. A shame you will not live to realize your naivety. Now perish with the pathetic lightners you worship. I, my friends and I aren't going anywhere. Alsei's will is changing. Talk became dual heal. You dare return to torment us once again? Ooh. Okay, gonna need to leave some space in the center to dodge that. Battlefield is rumbling. And now I can talk. Did I use Red Buster? Or... Oh, I guess I need Chris to do that. I tried to reason with the king. Silence, Lightbringer. Your very existence goes against our own. By the knight's will, I shall shatter your heart to pieces. The will is changing. Talk became courage. Be gone. We have found fresh purpose. Oh. Pointy box. Avoid. Darkness pours from the fountain. You encourage the party. The party's defense raised for this turn. Oh, it's just this turn? Well, the knight has appeared. Ow. Ow. Okay, his attacks are getting a little more aggressive now. Red damage. I wonder if I even need to damage him. Oh, let's try it. Your soul shined its power on Susie. Susie used Red Buster. The knight that pulls the fountains from the earth. Oh, okay, it pulls to the heart symbols. Darkness pours from the fountain. Okay. Let's do a dual heal. I guess I just need to outlast him. Or I'll say he cast dual heal. Holy fountains whose shadows are creating a new world. Our world. King's mouth gave a berserk smile. Courage again. You encourage the party. The party's defense raised for this turn. Uh, do you see now our new purpose? Ow. Damn, this is hard to avoid. I'll say Kasku will heal. Soon this world shall be blanketed in darkness, and darkeners shall rule it. King's mouth babble indecipherably. Courage. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be attacking him or not. You encourage the party. The party's defense raised for this turn. Then you must see what it's like to live in despair. This is hard to dodge. Darkness pours from the fountain. 
urge again. Now enough talk. Fall before the chain of justice. Oh, and now there's obstacles too. Harsh. Yeah, that's pretty tough to avoid. Dual heal. You're quite strong, aren't you? I see his attack slowing down. Courage again. If I keep fighting like this, then... Ow. And again. It seems that... Okay, let's try not to get hit by this. Yeah, it's not gonna happen. That's way too... If only I could move a little faster, but that's part of the challenge. My knight, I shall not fail you. I didn't have to attack him. Enough is enough. I see. I see that I cannot defeat you. I have grown exhausted from our long battle. His... His cloak fluttered away like a moth. Lightener's eye. Perhaps I... I have been too cruel. The truth is, I was not always this way. There once was a time... Where darkeners and lighteners lived in harmony. A time where darkeners could fulfill their purpose in peace. It would be a lie to say that I, too, do not yearn for those days. Perhaps, perhaps you young ones are right. Please, let us put away our weapons. There must be a peaceful solution to all this. He's full of it, isn't he? This is just more... Lancer brand trolling. Yeah, I'm not buying this. He's gonna try and kill us as soon as we let our guard know. Come now, Susie. I'm glad you're starting to realize, Mr. King. None of us really want to fight. If you can just tell us about your worries, I'm sure we can all be friends, Mr. King. Yes. Friends. That sounds lovely. Uh, my apologies. I am... I am not used to fighting like that. My body is getting weak. Oh, don't say another word. Heals him. There. You should be all healed up. How do you feel? L let's see. Yep, knew it. God damn it. Never better. Y you. Did I say you could get up? Chris? Oh, spare me the heroics. You're the leader, aren't you? So, what's your plan? To laugh as you cast us all back into obscurity? You can't even say? Young one, let me tell you a secret. Quiet people piss me off. Uh-oh, you shouldn't have said that. That was... That's Susie's line. She's not gonna be happy. <laughs> I called it again. <laughs> hey, get away from my friend. <laughs> oh. 
Or what? Surely you must realize how exhausted I am, Leitner. Any hit from you would kill me. Why not do it, Leitner? Kill me and show my son how much you really care. <laughs> nah. So what's your plan, then? To talk me to death? You stupid, stupid Leitner. You honestly think you have any way to convince me not to kill you? <laughs> Just wait a second. Wait for what? Huh? Why am I suddenly so sleepy? Why, you... you little... you sweet little... pumpkin. <laughs> hey, Chris, you alright? Uh, that was close, Susie. I'm surprised you remembered my pacify spell. Hey, come on. I never forget something I made fun of you for. Chris, Susie, I'm I'm so sorry. Because I healed the king, we almost Susie, you were right. I I was foolish to think we could act so soft to everyone. This isn't a world where kindness always wins, is it? Uh, it's complicated. Yeah, sometimes there's people you just gotta fight. But if you never let your guard down, then... You might just hurt someone you care about, too. Everyone, you're okay? Lancer, hey! Sorry, I kinda beat up your dad. That's okay, it happens. Oh, it even looks like he's having a beauty nap. That's good, he seemed cranky. Man, you can say that again. Uh, Lancer, what's that noise? Oh, I actually came to warn you, clownlings. I informed the guys you were fighting my dad, but... Instead of eagerly volunteering to help you, everyone just caught the freakouts. Now they appear to be, um... Breaking through the door to the throne room. Well, uh, that's not the best. Chris? Susie, seems that you must hurry to the fountain. No time for goodbyes, huh? Yes, of course no goodbyes. We're bad guys, so we only have bad buys. Yeah. You've learned a lot, huh? Only from the best, all of the worst. Okay, I'll go stop the door. Later, dude. Susie, Chris, if we must say goodbye, then I am... I just wanted to say I... I... I really enjoyed meeting you two, and... Hey, can you stop mumbling into your hat for a sec? I can barely hear you, dude. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. What the... Um, Chris, Susie, I... I hope I can see you again soon. Next time, I'll make you lots of yummy cakes, all right? I honestly thought he was, like, black. Like, he was actually... that. I didn't realize that was shadow. I thought that was actually the color he was. So that's different. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, sure, dude. Yeah. Let's go, Chris. Well, guess it's time to go. And seal the fountain and save the world. Is this the fountain? Dunno how, but feels like we stumbled into something really important, didn't we? Well, there's no time to think about it. Right now, it's time to go home. Right, Chris? As you stood in front of the fountain, you felt something strange. It was as if your very soul was glowing.
What happened? I can't see anything. Hey, watch it! Uh, huh? The unused classroom? How'd we get in here? Hey, Chris. What? What just happened? Like, that wasn't a dream or anything, was it? Anyway, as I was saying, let's just tell Alphys we couldn't find any chalk. <laughs> oh, I have control again. It's a light switch. It's a worn down stuffed animal. It's a checkerboard. There are pawns strewn on it. Playing cards spill out of a deck in the closet. It's a yellowed, poorly drawn picture of a green turtle. It's signed Alvin. And nothing else? Looks like there was <clears throat> something on this wall before, but it's gone now. Also, wow, according to the clock, we've been in here for about... Just about three and a half hours. Huh. The door is locked. Man, the sun's already setting. Everyone else must have gone home by now. Yeah, they didn't even think to look for us after we disappeared. Guess Alphas will know better than to ask us next time, huh? Then again, I guess they couldn't have found us if they had looked for us. Well, guess we should go. See you later, I guess. Mm. Mm. Chris? Let's go back there tomorrow, alright? Sure. Door's locked. Door's locked. There's nothing else in here. You ran the water fountain. It's lukewarm. Do you like breathing, moving fast, with or without legs? But usually with legs. Join the cross-country team with jogging to an Noel. Locker. It's locked. Locker. It's locked. Locker. It's locked. This used to be your brother's locker. It's your locker. It's empty. And another classroom. Miss Toriel is written in cursive on the dry erase board. Seems like it hasn't been erased in a very long time. It's a computer. Its desktop wallpaper is you and your brother dressed up for Halloween eight years ago. Some kind of teacher food. <laughs> Kids books. Some of them used to be yours. It's a primitive drawing of your mom. The throne of the gods. Some kind of primitive sculpture. Who knows what it represents? Nothing in any of the desks. It's a poster of several basic shapes. Circle, oval, square. Hyperdodecahedron. Scented markers. Yes, 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 scented marker. You dig out the marshmallow one and start huffing it. <laughs> no. Scented markers, yes. Marshmallow scented marker. Oh, and this clock is wrong. All the clocks are different. It's confusing. Oh. Computer is turned off. Everything felt peaceful for a moment. It's a bunch of roses. Looks like motivational quotes from various literature. Try your best, Astral Wolf, even in your darkest hour. That one seems to be from a video game. Yeah, I've already seen that. This game just it makes me obsess over looking for secrets. Because you never know where they might hide something. Let me guess, time to go home? You check the time. Seems not to be time for class. Oh, close enough. The locker is locked. The locker's lock is locked. The lock's locker is locked. The locker's lock's locker is locked. The locker is covered in Jockington memorabilia. 
Are you ready for that? Yeah, I already read this. Well, nothing to do but go home now, I guess. Ring, ring. Chris? What have you been doing? I sat in the car waiting for you after school for half an hour. I called and called, but you never picked up. You had your poor mother worried sick. Chris, I'm afraid I'm going to have to punish you. Huh? A friend? You were spending time with a friend? Chris, I will make an exception this time. You can continue your adventures a little longer. But when you return home, you are going to have to go to bed early. See you soon, honey. Click. Oh, I actually have stats. I'm level 1 with 20 health and I have 2 bucks. Chris, weapon Halloween pencil, my armor is a bandage, and I have $2. I have a ball of junk in my inventory. Ball of junk, a small ball of accumulated things. You looked at the junk ball in admiration. Nothing happened. Chris, honey, what is it? What? No, I am not giving you a ride home. Our house is not far. It's just at the top of town. Try walking. It builds character, honey. Chris, I'm grading papers. I can talk to you when you get back, alright? Our house is only at the top of town, you know. Eh, that's it. That's all we get. Time to go home, I guess. In the epilogue. L Library. Hey, it's everybody. Chris, Chris. You survived Susie. I was getting worried. Now you can finally pay off your family debt. How to draw dragons is 2,583 days overdue. However, Chris, I am a benevolent volunteer assistant. If you turn it in this week, I'll reduce your fine to a mere 6423. Consider it, Chris. There's a crude drawing of an ice cube wearing a headband. The teen zone, where teens can be kids, is a feeling of immense relief rushes over you. There's an anime review. Read it. No, 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 no. Yes. Teen's Corner, a monthly tune review, Mew Mew Kizzy Cutie 2. This reviewer had Mew Mew 2 as her first exposure to the series, and let her tell you it makes Mew Mew 1 look like a dumpster with sparkly cat ears. With a darker storyline and more mature themes, the second one treats the viewer like a real adult. Instead of like an animal that will die if it goes 10 seconds without seeing a beach ball. Not to mention Mew Mew's character in the first one is more stale than the ramen I eat at home by myself with the lights off. Teens and older and bleh, teens and older should check out this dark masterpiece. Signed, the anonymous yellow lizard. Chris, what's up? Caddy's working, so I'm starting on our project. I've already copied a bunch of pictures. It's the same picture of a soccer ball 37 times. Gotta go to college. So I can't study hard. This is really a, a comic full of hot demon guys. There's a book here. You lick the page. It's delicious. This must be what they meant by flavor text. Ugh. God damn it. It's an unlabeled book. You look inside. Oh, I accidentally returned my personal journal instead of my book. Oh no. They're putting it into their catalog. Oh no. I have to take it out every time I want to write a new entry. Please remember my name. Please. I wrote a book to help you remember. By Hot's Fire Guy. Lord of the Hammer. First in the award-winning fictional series by Lotta historian Gerson Boone. Computer Lab, please surf the web responsibly. In fact, maybe don't do it at all. I love reading books, especially the books upstairs. You should, really. Read them. Except I can't go upstairs. You look through the window to the computer lab. There seems to be a dog inside working at a computer. Seems like it's making a game. Seems like you shouldn't interrupt it. Seems like when the game's finished, you can go in. You just have to trust the dog. <laughs> Dogs playing games, not getting any work done. Oh, hey, it's Undyne! And somebody with a flat face. 
How am I supposed to get past this blue lady? I'm stuck. I guess I should just run away. Who's too from I was supposed to direct in traffic. But all she's doing is standing in the middle of the street yelling, Get out of my way! She's the best, huh? I feel really directed. Hey, punk, get out of the road! You're blocking traffic! Oh, wait, it's just Asgore's kid. Sorry, I'm a little, uh, worked up lately. This job is so boring. Nothing ever happens in this town. I just wish something would shake things up. Huh? You got something to report? <laughs> yeah, let's tell the truth. What? There's a dark world inside the school? Uh, sure, kid. There's no law against dark worlds anyway. That's a job for the school board. Aw, you want to help me? Sure, punk. Get someone to rob the bank so I can suplex them. Wait, do we even have a bank? Hey, get someone to build a bank. Got something to report? Alphys. Alphys? Who's Alphys? No idea who you're talking about. Why, did they do something illegal? Gotcha, if I see Alphys, I'll tackle them. Nah, <laughs> they're as good as dead. Police station, you knocked on the door to the police station. Someone's coming up to the window. They just closed the blinds. Rude. Seems like the police aren't really feeling it right now. Ugh. Hey, it's a... I forgot what these are called. Busy beads? It's one of those sliding bead toys that naturally spawns inside doctor's offices. That's true, actually. They're always there. The beads march grimly along their set path. It's a diagram showing a bunch of lines in a circle. <laughs> Clearly. Ah, uh, Dad, I, I can't just say that to her. Oh my god, I'd die. I'd literally die. No way, sweetheart. First time I laid eyes on your mother, I walked right up and told her she was a hot piece of work. Really? Yeah, she slapped me so hard I blacked out. <laughs> Dad, that doesn't help at all. Anyhow, how's Dragon Blazers 3? Beat it yet? Ah, I'm still at the Ice Palace. I've been kind of... kind of waiting to finish it with you, Dad. Well... Maybe you shouldn't wait. Dad? You should bring it here. I'm bored as hell. <laughs> Fine, you win. I'll bring it next time. No, oh, it's getting late. Guess I better go. I've got homework. Oh, that's the group project voice. Bird guy again? What's his name? Nerdly? It's, um, Birdly. It's not that bad, Dad. I'll kick his ass. <laughs> Dad, you're not even supposed to get up. Bring him by the window. I'll throw something at him. Goodbye, Dad. Bye, honey. Oh, hi, Chris. Oh, so you're just here to use the sink, huh? Come on, Chris, be a little friendlier. Well, jingle my gosh darn bells, it looks like Christmas came early. Alright, Chris, just give me the straight shot. Why are you here? Did your mom make you come here? No? Really? You've grown up a lot, Chris. I'm proud of you. It wasn't too long ago you were just a creepy kid next door. Now you're the creepy kid right in front of me. <laughs> okay, okay, seriously. You want to chat or something? So, why am I in here? Well, they found some crap, so it's just some tests. Yeah, it's no big deal. Nothing a holiday can't handle. I'll be out of here in a jiff. Then I can go back to, I don't know, yelling at you for getting tangled in our light display. Hey, Chris, you want to chat or something? Don't worry, there's no way you can bore me right now. She's a sweetheart, isn't she, Chris? Smart, kind, sweet. You couldn't ask for a better daughter. I just wish she wasn't so defenseless. Scary movies, bugs, Santa Claus, everything scares her. And when it happens, she freezes like a deer in headlights. I remember she used to be afraid of humans under the bed. Chris, it was not nice of you to hide under there, by the way. Anyhow, that's what's tough about being in here, Chris. Not what's going on with me. It's just that, in the meantime, I can't be there to protect her. Keep an eye out for her, okay? Hey, Chris, you want to chat or something? Yeah. Chris, even if we've grown apart, we still love your family. 
After all, me and Asgore were college pals, right? Oh hey, now that Azrael's off to college, you think he's doing any crazy parties like me and your dad? <laughs> I'm just pulling out day. Your dad was no party animal. Your mother, on the other hand, whew. She'd always fuss about going, but once the party started, yikes, man. Once she hit me a clear across the room with a key lime pie, I got smashed into the snack table and toppled everything. Tasty pie, though. Couldn't complain. <laughs> it's a get well soon card from your mom. It's signed inside. Hey, Chris, you know you signed the inside, right? Why are you staring at it like you haven't seen it before? It's your penmanship that good? Was I not moved enough? Patient name, Rudolph Rudy Holiday. Hey, Chris, you forgot my name or something? It's a sink. Hey, Chris, is that sink really more interesting than me? It's a chair. Oh, you got no comment for that? Okay, let's go. Ugh. It's a regular sink. You looked inside the cupboard. A very small obligatory piano is hiding inside. It's a clone of the other sink. Perhaps there was originally one tall sink that was cut in half to create both of them. It's a classic 1 to 10 pain scale using Icy as a model. At 0 pain, he's happy. At 10 pain, he's happy and sweating. This castle's white wizards relegated me to this healing chamber. But my blood is boiling for battle! Oh, jeez. Now it's here. I hate to play the piano again. The patients can't hear it well from here, but I personally enjoy it. It's an obligatory hospital piano, shrunk to fit in the corner. As a result, it's missing most of the good keys. Play it? Sure. Plink. Nothing's happening. Hmm, we usually play the piano a bit more beautifully. Is everything okay? We do seem a little sick. Police tape is blocking the way. The tape simply reads, Nyah! Oh, hello. How are you? Chris, what a pleasant surprise to see you here. And on a school day. There must be a reason that you came here at such a time. I, Father Alvin, implore you, if you have anything weighing on your mind, please speak. Fruit juice! Chris, if you want some of our sick fruit juice, you should come to our service. A choir sounds a bit thinner since your brother went away. Chris, it would be wonderful if you would sing with us, or even participate to any extent, instead of just trying to drink the fruit juice. <laughs> I understand. I hope in time you might find the words you seek. Let the angel's power light your way. wonder what's down here. Bunker? It's locked. Hmm, huh. wonder what this is. Ring ring. Chris, I am grading papers. Yeah, we've heard this. Oh, I have no clue what's going on here. Oh, is this the graveyard? Gerson, renowned historian, author, and teacher. Crystal, a snowy gemstone for a proud mother. Mutler, a big bone for the leader of the pack. Shira, a karaoke microphone for a brave singer. There's no microphone. Oh, it's on the thing, I see. Hmm, 
nothing back here. Gerson Boom Mater Memorial Bench. Throughout my career, some of my best ideas came from dreams. Take a rest here, if anyone asks, you're writing. Town Hall. Hey, short stuff. How would you possibly need to talk to the mayor? Your allowance too low? Ate too much candies? Lost your frisbee in the wash? Hey, short stuff. That's what the cops are for. What? Don't talk to you like you're a kid? Fine. If you need someone to change your diaper, go ask the cops. The mayor's charisma is about zero. No, it's negative. But she works hard and has a good track record, so she runs unopposed. That's politics, rarely. It's a painting of the town. It's a small pine tree. It's a chair. Maybe it's into politics. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. The mayor's busy right now. If you need to see her, please try causing some terrible crisis. QC's Diner. Ugh. Ice me up! Ice me up, boss! Icy's Pizza. Would you be interested in trying some of our many 24 Pezza flavors? We've got normal, cheese, ice, gravy, double ice, pepperonis, and more. Stop on down at Icy's Pezza. Oh god, someone actually here. Uh. I see Peza is your number one spot for piping hot Peza of Pesa. Uh, hey, hey, wait a second. I recognize you. Little buddy, it's me. Want to chat for a minute before I chew, before I lose my mind? Azrael. Do you know when Azzy's coming home? You, you can tell him this, but I really miss the guy. It'd be sweet to cruise around town like old times. Picking up, for example, chicks, which, as a matter of course, may not have ever actually happened. But one time, Undyne made eye contact with me, while she was writing me a speeding ticket. Hey, hey, little buddy, what's up? Co-workers. Ah, yes, little buddy, good idea, meet the rogues gallery. Blue ears, soft serve obsessed, no concept of personal space. Keeps accidentally pouring slushies on me and giggling. The warrior, thankfully absent due to pizza-related injuries. Constantly terrorizing customers with war chants. Purple guy, man, that guy. You gotta actually. Does that guy even work here? Ah, my co workers. Where would I be without them? A happy place, little buddy. A much happier place. Make no mistake, little buddy. Icy's Pezza is hell. I can't slack off for seconds without hearing, be a team player. There's no I in Pezza. Yes, there is. You just took it out. But it's okay, little buddy. I've been saving up to go to college where Azzy is. Then I'll get a theater degree, become a famous actor, and let the fangirls roll in, little buddy. It's fine, little buddy. You don't have to watch me suffer. Just enjoy your freedom while it lasts. Here at Icy's Pezza, your family is going to love it. Icy's Pezza, your number one spot for piping hot Pezza Pezza. The entrance is locked. No one's inside. Seems like all the employees are outside in costume. <laughs> ah, it's a whole bunch of people. Looking at my rugged body, you must wonder what kind of secrets I hold. My secret is I put all my leftover pancakes in this giant hat. I like the vibe of the waitresses here. Maybe I should sign up too. Nah, serving drinks wouldn't really suit a fire elemental. If I got nervous, I'd just melt all the ice. Dude, remember we used to skip the first hour of class to come here? You were fine, but I almost had to repeat the year because of it. Those crepes are mad work, though. Delinquency is the best condiment. Ice Wolf does not like ice in drink. Ice Wolf likes ice. To be drink. Also, ice Wolf also like ice-themed mascots. You're alive. Nice. I'm working. 
This uniform's mandatory. Uh, we'll take the special, and do you have any edible glitter? The youngest one won't eat anything if it doesn't look like treasure. Hey there, haven't seen you in a while, huh? I remember, back on Sundays after service, you and your family would come in and order the special. Of course, things happened, and then... Y'all stopped coming together. Every Sunday, you and your brother would still come in. He'd order you a hot chocolate, and you two'd sit down at that table in the corner. Drawing shapes in the window with your breath. You must really miss him, huh? Here, how about this? Oh, I got a hot chocolate. On the house, hon. Nice. You drank the hot chocolate. Tasted wonderful. Your throat tightened. Alright. Well, it's probably about time to... Oh, wait. Zons! Hey! Look who it is. Hey, look who's walking around. How are you, kid? Great to see you again. Yeah, it's real nice, isn't it? Especially considering I've never met you before. The name's Sans. Sans a skeleton. I'm new in town. What's up? Friends. We just moved here, so I hardly know anyone. Or, oh, got anyone I should know better? My mom. Your mother, huh? Too late. I already befriended your mom last night. She's great. Came to the store to buy chocolate kisses. Said she's got to lock her door to stop you from eating them. <laughs> you sound like a fun kid, huh? <laughs> What's up? Behind me? Yeah, that's the grocery store. Unfortunately, it's closed. What a pain. I really wanted to buy some milk. Someone ought to complain to the guy who runs it. Alphys, yeah, I know about her. Came into the store with a suitcase and sunglasses. Though she was part of the mob. She opened the case and stuffed it full of instant noodles. Paid in small bills, then slunk out of the place. Pajamas trailing on the floor. Anyway, our relationship is a uh, purely business, so I guess I'll just let her do her thing. Alright then. Hey, bud. Are you busy tomorrow? I need some help with something. It'd be great if you could come over. I live just next door, you know. Sure. Well, you were deliberating for a while. Gee, what's wrong? Don't want to hang out with a stranger? Well, I guess I shouldn't complain. Huh? What are we gonna be doing? No, oh, I'm not gonna be there. That'd be weird. It's just gonna be you and my little brother. He needs friends. Thanks for hanging out with him. See ya. Knock, knock, knock. No response, but the distant trousel of bones. Knock, knock, knock. Ooh, are you the human that lives at the top of town? Wow, my mommy told me about you. Does it hurt to be made of blood? Knock, knock, knock. Huh, that sounds like the knock of a beginner. Come back when you've gotten better at knocking. Yo, Chris, you survived Susie. Ha! <laughs> I mean, I never saw her beat anyone up, but uh, I'd be careful. Like, one time me, Snowy, and talking to her were playing handball, and she just kept creepily watching us from the corner. Then when the ball rolled over to her, she just, uh, froze solid, and kicked the ball as hard as she could right into Officer Undyne's car. Then Undyne came out smiling, cracked her knuckles, and totally wiped us at handball. Anyway, Susie sucks, Chris. <laughs> oh, how little you know. Ooh, you're lucky, Chris. You got to miss class with Elvis. It's not fair. <laughs> if I skipped class, my dad had never let me hear the end of it. <laughs> That's actually not even remotely funny. Oi, Snowy, what did I tell you about knocking on the door so hard? Don't do it. It's really gonna hurt your face. We don't have arms, you know. Oh, Chris. Chris, you're okay. I was really worried when you didn't come back. Where did you go? Did you skip class? Well, don't worry about it. I'm the cool teacher, you know. You're not in trouble. Well, let me know if you need anything. It's a saucer of milk. Oh, Chris. D did you want to talk about something? Nothing. 
Do you ever need help with your homework? My office hours are in this disgusting alley. <laughs> um, tell your mom I said hi. It's a trash can full of well-kept flowers. Does he live in this alley? That sucks. It's a dirty trash can. Time to head home, I think. Little Chrissy, like, what's up? Give Aunt Caddy a hug. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Not even actually your aunt. Oh my god, can I talk to you about something? Actually, like, anything though. Your choice. Nothing. Oh. You gotta go? Do you have, like, homework? You should, like, let me help. <laughs> JK, I totally don't want to. Laters. It's a broken grill. It smells like burnt cat food. Hey, neighbor, baby. When's your brother Doug gonna come by? <laughs> my girls love to see him. He's a sweet little man. He's just got one problem. He doesn't like my wife's cooking. What's wrong, Douglas? You don't like frozen cat food? <laughs> hey, eyes. There's some kind of scratching noises coming from inside. Crazy, like, long time no see. What's up? Did you want to talk about something? Remember that time you wanted to hang out with the big kids? I was like, yeah, of course, just let us get some burgers. Then, like, amazingly, you actually got them. So I told you to go back and get some french fries, too. Then a dozen miniature cakes. They were so good, I ate like six. Then I, like, suddenly got so sick I had to go home. Man. So, like, anyway, Chris, are you busy? Knock, knock, knock. Oh, I'm afraid no one's home right now, darling. Now, why don't you just prance on home? Knock, knock, knock. I'm telling you, they're not home right now. Ah, uh, you just wanted to talk to me. My apologies, beautiful. I'm afraid I'm a bit of a nobody. I'm telling you that... Uh, that's gotta be Napstablook's house. It's your dad's truck. The floor of the front seat is littered with old papers and country CDs. Hey, it's the Dog Knights! Nothing better than hanging at the lake with my best bro. Watching the waves go by. True. I don't know what this is. A hole. Put an awful lot of effort into this outro. Uh, hi, Chris. Did you need help with your homework again? I know you were having trouble last time, so I... Uh, I actually got a few things ready for you in case. Oh, wait, sorry. I can't right now. I forgot my house key again, and... Sorry, Chris. I'll help you later, if that's okay. See you at school, Chris. Uh, Chris? Did you want to talk about something? Susie. Susie, that's right. You were with Susie. When you didn't come back to class, I was worried, but... Everything turned out okay, I think. Um, Chris? Can I ask something if that's okay? Susie, I'm kind of curious what she's like, you know? I mean, who doesn't wonder about her? She never talks to anyone. So, Chris, could you tell me about her, if that's okay? She's nice. What? She's a nice person? Really? Like, really? Honestly? Truly? I mean, that's just what I was hoping, but... Wait, this isn't another trick, is it, Chris? Like when you put ketchup on your arms and told me it was blood? Really? You're serious? You're totally serious? Gosh, then maybe I should try talking to her. But if I die, you're paying for my funeral, Chris. Though, honestly, if she's nice, I might die too. <laughs> Welcome home, honey. Did you have fun with your friend today? By the way, I just finished baking a pie. If you go to bed, it will be cool when you wake. But do not eat it all this time, alright? Yes, what is it, honey? Remember that video game you and Azrael used to play? What was it called? Super Smashing Fighters? When he was very little, he loved the green lizard from that. 
We even have a birthday party for him themed around it. Your father painted all those eggs with spots as decoration. Oh, your brother loved it. Until the next day, your father cooked them all for breakfast. Your brother just kept crying. Ever since, he's hated that book about eating green eggs. <laughs> Asriel's a Yoshi fan. Nice. When I was little, I used to make Yoshi eggs out of Play-Doh. And one final flush of the toilet. Hello? Dreamer Residence. Who might this be? Chris? Do not make me come over there. I love crank calling my own house. The phone is ringing, but you can't get it. You're already on the phone, after all. There's some white fur stuck in the drain. Cookie cutters for gingerbread monsters and gingerbread humans. It's a trash can with scented trash bags. It's only you. The door's locked. Alright. If you go to bed, this chapter of your adventures will end. Will you go to bed? You decided to go to bed. Whoa. Well, that's one way to get out of bed. Oh no. I'm sleepwalking, aren't I? Is this where I turn into you-know-who? Oh, jeez. When the light is running low And the shadows start to grow And the places that you know Seem like fantasy There's a light inside your soul That's still shining in the cold With the truth, the promise in our heart Don't forget it I'm with you in the dark Wow, what a way to end. That was so pretty. And the game just closed itself. <laughs> Typical fashion. Alright, well, that was Deltarune Chapter 1. And that's going to be it for this time. And thank you everyone who may have stopped by for watching and chatting and everything else. And I'll see you next time with something else. And I'm definitely going to be playing the next chapter of this whenever it comes out. Anyway, that's it. Bye-bye.